taking a quick look here at Azure Network Watcher, which provides tools to monitor, diagnose, and view ne network metrics. It also enables or disables logs for resources in your Azure virtual network. And there's a few things you can access from this uh, service, like IP flow verify checks, packet capture, troubleshooting VPNs and NSGs, NSG flow logs, diagnostic logs, traffic analytics, network performance monitor, and a bunch of other stuff. And so Network Watcher can monitor and repair Azure resources you provision, such as virtual machines, uh, virtual networks, application gateways, load balancers, but it's not really uh, designed to monitor fully managed services because Azure already takes care of that stuff for you. So like monitoring or web analytics kind of stuff. Um, and another thing is that it's disabled by default. I think that it's disabled except for a few key regions. I don't remember because whoever set up our Azure account might have turned on a couple things. So now I, now I believe that uh, some of the default ones might be turned on for you. But the point is, is that uh, if you want to utilize this in a different regions, you're likely gonna have to enable it because it's disabled by default at a per region level. Uh, one other thing I just wanna show you is the topology feature in it. So uh, if you look there, uh, we have a topology and we have this nice graphic and what it does is it visualizes the topology of our VNets and so you can download that as an SVG, so you can use it in presentations and, and documentation. And you can click through on any of those elements so that you can do a bit more of an investigation or stuff like that. Um, it's cool. Uh, I don't have much utility for it myself, but I just thought it was cool that uh, Azure had that. 